all right, so what we're going to talk about now is we're going to talk about the next phase in this rearranging formulas. So now instead of going from standard form to vertex form, we're going to go from vertex form to standard form. And how you do that, to go from here to here, we're going to multiply. Okay, so to go from vertex form to standard form, you have to multiply, right? So we are going from vertex form to standard form. All right, so let's do a few examples. In the last video, I didn't get to do two examples. I, didn't, I don't want the videos to go over 10 minutes, um, but today we're probably going to have time to do two examples. So this equation, this example one, this is in vertex form. It's y equals x plus 2 squared minus 4, okay? And we want to go from vertex form to standard form. You do that by multiplying. Okay, that's what our chart told us to do. Where's the chart? That's what this chart told us to do. So to go from vertex form to standard form, you're going to multiply. All right, so... Just do what the problem tells you to do. It says x plus 2 squared. Well, if you expand that, this is going to be x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, and then don't forget about the minus 4. Now we're going to distribute. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Then distribute underneath. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 is 4. So now combine those, you have x squared, 2x plus 2x is 4x, and then plus 4, and then here if we bring down this minus 4, it's going to be 4 minus 4, which is 0. So this is y equals x squared plus 4x plus 0, or you can just say y equals x squared plus 4x. Either way, that's what you should get. Okay, so let's do, so that was example 1. Let's do example 2. Okay. So what if we had y equals... 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 2. Okay, you, there's a little bit more here, but that's okay. Keep the 2 on the outside and expand this. This is x minus 2 squared, so that's going to be x minus 2 times x minus 2. And then don't forget about the minus 2 at the end. So multiply those out. x times x is x squared x times negative 2 is negative 2x underneath 2 times x is negative 2x 2 times negative negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 okay and then don't forget about the stuff that's already there all right x squared stays the same, negative 2x minus 2x, that combines to give you negative 4x, and then plus 4, minus 2. Now, you have to then distribute this 2 on the, in the front. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 4x is negative 8x. 2 times 4 is 8, positive 8. And then we can combine it with this minus 2. We can combine the 8 with the 2. So you should get 2x squared 
minus 8x, and then 8 minus 2 is positive 6. And that is your final answer. That's how you go from vertex form to standard form. You multiply. Okay? So, in the next few days, we're going to go from standard form to intercept form, and then we're going to go back. We're going to go intercept form to standard form. Right?